Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Blessings and tidings to whatever time you are listening to this recording. This meditation or this thought or this inspiration, whatever you wish to call it, was brought upon the death of my beloved service dog, Tristan. I truly believe that she was a highly intuitive animal. And her death in the past couple of days have truly brought upon this inspiration. Throughout her life, she was a very smart dog. She was more than a dog. She knew when my daughter needed emotional support and did exactly that. She knew that my deaf son needed physical, emotional, as well as a protector. And whenever he walked her, she made sure he was physically safe from any vehicles, or any other individuals that he may not have heard approaching him. She always alerted him of such presence. She protected my daughter when she was in danger, although she herself was physically severely injured. She always welcomed my older son home whenever he returned home from school and was always so eager and happy to see when the whole family was together. Her passing brought our family together, as it always did when she was alive. She always enjoyed having a calming presence around us and other dogs we had fostered or pet-sitted throughout the years. But when she passed, her memory, her presence brought about something, especially during this isolation period, or may I call it a quarantine, right now during the coronavirus situation here in Florida. Because she was a protector It allows me to wonder whether or not she leaving the physical plane and entering the ether world allows her to be a protector to us in a way that she can never be in the physical form. As my children and I were here grieving at home, my daughter took it really, really hard. And she just needed to feel some comfort. We are extremely happy that she is out of suffering. We are extremely happy that she was able to end her pain from the liver disease she was suffering from. It came rather quickly. But we are also happy that she chose us to be her loving family, to give us seven beautiful years of joy, of happiness, of pleasantries. But Tristan's presence means a lot more to us besides the service dog, emotional support dog, the protector, the loving family member that she was to us. You see, as we are home grieving during this coronavirus self-quarantine time, being in the house wasn't very comforting for my daughter in particular the lack of Tristan's energy in this house 
although we do have another dog, but the lack of her energy is being felt greatly here. And me as a yoga instructor, me as a spiritual intuitive, felt that the energy needed to change. And because Tristan was such a great joy, such a great comfort to us, I truly do not believe that she wanted us to continue to grieve during this time. She wanted us to feel the joy and the presence of her comfort throughout this house, whether she was physically here or not. So something, maybe her energy, maybe God's energy, whatever you choose to call the divine, whether it be the universe, the spaghetti monster, whatever it is, brought a message directly to me and to my heart to meditate on the mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum. And as I've read what Om Mani Padme Hum meant, it was no surprise, it was no coincidence that that mantra was brought into my mind. What do I mean by that? Well, I read an article about what Om Mani Padme Hum means, and I will cite the website. The website is called thejoywithin.org. And in it, it broke down what Om Mani Padme Hum meant. Om, of course, is the sound of the universe, the universal energy, God force, is the vibration of the sound Om. It is believed that that is the sound that the universe makes, that's the sound of the power of God, Om. Mani in Sanskrit actually means jewel. But if you break apart the sounds of Mani, which is M A N I, Ma is the sound intended to release jealousy and attachment, which makes sense because it actually removes the attachment I had of the physical form of Tristan walking around here. It also removes the attachment of me wanting to go to work. The fear of not providing for my family. The fear of my physical limitations walking upon this earth because of this virus happening around us. Me, sound, is intended to cultivate self-compassion and patience as we release these desires. Another make sense move because the sound me allows me to be compassionate and patient with myself as I restrict my movements, my physical movements during this crazy time of the coronavirus. I can feel relief and joy that I am doing my part to relieve the restraints and the, the restraints and the responsibilities of my fellow healthcare workers out there doing all that they can to heal us and heal those who are who have contracted the virus it also allows me to have patience that my beloved animal my beloved dog my my beautiful tristan has passed to another plane, a plane that has no pain, a plane that is full of immense joy, that is 100, 300, 1,000 times better than what I am feeling right now. That although I miss her, and I will miss her, that she is in a much, much, much better place without any pain. Padme, according to this article, it says, it is translated as lotus 
and represents a symbol for wisdom. The first syllable pod releases judgments and prejudices that we hold. Hmm, the judgment and prejudices she left too early for this family. She had many more years to give us. That is a huge judgment and prejudice my family holds about leaving or losing our beloved Tristan. The prejudices and judgments that we hold about the coronaviruses, this is the most ridiculous virus ever, is also very deadly. And there's a lot of people out there feeling the pressure, feeling the fear. I want to be that help. I want to provide wellness. That as a yoga instructor is my passion, is to provide wellness and health and energy to those who are suffering and isolating myself in this four walls that I call a home is limiting. However, the second syllable may of Padme increases our concentration as we release those judgments. So that's something I appreciate because with the second syllable, I am releasing the judgment and the prejudice that Tristan had many, many, many more years to be with me and my family. She was tired. She deserves to rest. And she is resting. She is in peace. She is in joy. So I can be patient and focus on that joy. Focus on that release. I can also focus on the release that I am doing my part to contain such a wild acting, fast moving virus. I am doing my part to provide wellness to others by keeping myself home with my children and limiting my movements. I am providing wellness to others by sharing this message with you. I am releasing and expressing love to all of those who have self-quarantined themselves. I am allowing wellness to go forth into this world and I am helping to alleviate fear by spreading this message. So with the Padme, I am helping to release those judgments of self-pity, boredom, and ridiculousness of the anxieties. I'm actually helping with the wellness. I am being of service. So again, much gratitude and thank you. Hum is the final syllable. And according to this article, it represents the unshakable force and is used to cultivate a sense of inner wisdom while releasing thoughts of hatred or aggression. Wow. That's a powerful syllable in itself. So combining it all, first things first, let's approach it with my dog, my beloved Tristan. It represents the inner wisdom. I can release the anger, the hurt, the pain that she has passed. I can settle in the inner wisdom, in the inner comfort that she's in a much better place. And even if you don't believe that, you can agree with me or choose not to agree with me, but it's up to you. But she's not in pain anymore. She's no longer in any physical pain. So with that inner wisdom in itself, I can find comfort. To go back to the greater scope of the coronavirus, I can find comfort and release the anger of, damn it, I can't go out and teach yoga. Damn it, I can't go to that beach that I love to go to. Damn it, I can't share my butt-kicking 
Pilates, exercise regimen, yoga regimen, whatever regimen of exercises I was planning on doing for either silver sneakers, for yoga, for Pilates, for dance, whatever you call it, whatever it is, I can't share that physically with my fellow students, with my fellow coworkers, with my fellow members. I cannot do it. I can release that anger and know I can share this wisdom. I can share this wellness. I can share those high five, whether it be online, by showing a video, or by voice and sharing these words with you. I will share this article somewhere in this video recording either in the description on the link and I will also share it on my WordPress blog at www.newrevealyoga.com But if you break down the whole thing according to the article, Om Mani Padme Hum, it is pure body, jewel, wisdom, unity. How awesome is that? That is a precious, just precious, precious words to say. Regardless of what faith you are in, it brings some comfort. To me, it brought me joy. To me, it brought me comfort. It brought me healing. Not only for my precious dog, Tristan. But also for what's going on in life at this current moment in time with the virus. So I welcome you to repeat the words, Om Mani Padme Hum, for at least 15 times just to feel the presence that I'm feeling right now. Just to feel the relief (laughs) that I am feeling right now. You don't have to, of course. But I would like you to join me to say, to sing, to hum those syllables. the words will be provided. So just find a comfortable place. You can either close your eyes or look at the captions or look at my friend signing to you. Whatever brings you more comfort. You can find a comfortable space to be in. Try to connect with the divine and repeat Om Mani Padme Hum 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 Om
just stay here allow yourself to feel the words and the vibrations think of what the words meant again You can remain here for as long as you wish. You can return back to the motivations, the words that I spoke before. Or you can skip ahead and go straight to the mantra. I hope these words bring you comfort. I hope this motivation or this inspiration or whatever you wish to call what I just did right now brought you some wellness, brought you some healing, brought you some comfort in the confusion, in the anxiety, in the whatever we want to call this new form of life that we are all living at this current moment in time with this virus. I see you, I honor you, and may the spirit in me always and forever honor the spirit living within you. Namaste.